Cisco Security. I think the one thing that we all can agree is this. The industry as a whole has focused on buying best of breed security technologies with hopefully dedicated security teams, yet we continue to see an increase of compromise. So at Cisco, we believe in best of breed, and that's what's led to billions of dollars of acquisitions over the last four to five years. With a focus on best of breed in security, but the realization that it goes beyond the point product. It has to build upon that initial requirement or tactical requirement into a strategic objective around architecture. And it has to be simple, open, and automated in order to give you a fighting chance. So when we look at the industry and we look at the, the attackers themselves, they're well-funded. The revenues are over a billion dollars a year. And it's complex for us as defenders to, to be able to be 100% all the time. The attackers only need to be right once. So it's challenging at best. And part of that's to do with the lack of cybersecurity skill sets out there in the industry. And that's only going to get uh, worse as time goes on, right? It's going to be, there's going to be this gap for some period. Um, we're flooded with multiple different products and complexities there. And the, the attacks themselves are complex. It's on-prem, it's off-prem, it's cloud, multiple different vectors that we have to think about when defending. Yet the user community wants simple, right? They want to bring their own devices. They want to do it their way and we need to conform or we're being forced to conform yet still make it secure. So we need to change the equation. And in order to do that, we got to increase our security posture and ultimately reduce the time to detection. So if you look at the uh, industry as a whole, it's roughly 100 days before you know somebody's in your environment. And at Cisco, we release an annual and mid-year security report. And the recent mid-year uh, report that we just released, Cisco is around 13.5 hours. So we want to minimize the time to detect and ultimately respond to those threats. And in order to do that, you need best of breed. That part hasn't changed, but you need an integrated architecture. You need to be able to make a decision when somebody plugs in an asset and at two in the morning the disposition changes, you wanna be able to remediate that asset and you wanna do it as, as automated as possible. And that might be automatically moving it into a quarantine VLAN. Cisco's the only vendor that can claim end-to-end -end security, right? And we don't do everything, but we've got a lot of the key areas within the environment, from the network to the endpoint to the cloud. And you can see the portfolio here. It's significant. And again, we looked at it from a best-of-breed perspective. So all of these products in the industry are only complicating our efforts right where the if you look at network you can probably name only 10 vendors if you look at uh, systems you probably you know uh, uh, servers you'd only get 10 vendors right and that's asking dedicated teams that that specialize in it right same thing with storage you go to security folks and you ask them to name uh, 10 vendors and they could possibly name 6,000 it's ridiculous and it's not working so as we continue to add more product to the portfolio, what we do is increase complexity, right? And we get very little capabilities. And at Cisco, what, we need, what we've done is we've changed that, right? We've increased the capabilities, but decreased the complexity. And that exists today. And, and it's all around being simple, open, and automated, being able to very quickly see an asset, its disposition change, and make a decision on that. And it's all to do with architecture. Our integrated threat defense, our security intelligence from Cisco Talos um, that manages all the threat feeds that we have, and that includes network, endpoint, and cloud. We also offer services like incident response and red team, blue team exercises, as well as pen test vulnerability assessments. And this has nothing to do with Cisco product, right? It's all services at that point. When we look at telemetry, we've got a lot of global threat uh, data coming in from multiple different vectors as well as localized data and we have the ability to see what's happening on your network. Um, you can't stop what you can't see, right? 
So we want to stop threats at the edge, right? We protect users wherever they work, control who gets onto our network, simplify segmentation, and find and contain threats as fast as possible to minimize our exposure. And that's how you change the equation.